Hey everyone, today we're going to compare two sleeping pads in the ultralight sleeping pad category. The Nemo Tensor and the Big Agnes Insulated Q-Core SLX. Both are really good choices and it can be hard to decide between the two. And hopefully by the end of this video you'll have a better idea of which one is right for you. If you're interested in either of these pads or both, you can visit the links in the description for full reviews of each product. If you're new to the channel, my name's Roxy, and I'm part of the Adventure Junkies team. We help people like you choose the right gear to get outdoors. If you want to learn more, go ahead and visit the website at www.theadventurejunkies.com. Now for what you really came for. The Nemo Tensor versus the Big Agnes Insulated Q-Core SLX. The Nemo Tensor is one of Nemo's most popular ultralight sleeping pads. It is an inflatable sleeping pad, and it comes with the pad, a stuff sack, a patch kit and a pump sack. The Big Agnes Q-Core is also one of Big Agnes's most popular tried and true pads and it's also an inflatable style pad and comes with a stuff sack, a patch kit, and an inflation sack. So very similar to begin with. Uh, before we unpack these I do just want to mention um, that I've pumped up and deflated these hundreds of times and they still fit in their original packaging so I could I could stuff this and close this down and this one even easier. So it's a nice, um, it's nice to know that when you take something out of the package originally, uh, it's gonna go back down to that size. A lot of times sleeping pads, they're like perfectly rolled up and then you undo them once and they never go back to that shape. So it's nice to have, to know that they really are that size when you purchase them. So I'm gonna take them out of their boxes. And just grab, um, this is a 32 ounce water bottle and sort of do a little comparison here. So the Big Agnes Q-Core I would say is a little bit shorter but also a little bit wider than this water bottle. And then this Nemo Tensor is identical in size to a 32 ounce water bottle. So wherever you could fit this water bottle you could m probably fit the Tensor and most likely fit the Q-Core. Um, the Q cord might have a little bit more of an issue like stuffing into water bottle side just because um, it is a little bit wider, fatter than um, this water bottle, but this tensor lines up perfectly. I'm going to inflate the two and then we can chat a little bit about them more. As I mentioned, they come with similar things. This is a stuff sack. Uh, the only difference here is like Nemo has this little pocket on the edge and this is an actual um, loop so you could potentially carabiner it somewhere on your pack I wouldn't really recommend that I don't think these are rated for carrying things but it is nice for like pulling out of your sack so it looks like you have a few different size patches and a replacement for the um, blow-up valve all right so here is the pump sack and uh, it is pretty obvious what you're going to do with this pump sack. The valve's going to be plugged in here. There are no directions on this uh, pump sack and I know the Nemo Tensor does come with some directions. So just before we blow it up, you're always going to want to be six feet to a foot or six inches to a foot away to blow it up to really get um, the whirlwind going down in there. Here is the valve system on the Q-Core. This is two separate valves. Uh, they are clearly labeled. It says out on one and in on the other. So I would call that clearly labeled. Um, we're doing in, so I'm going to close the out and then plug the valve on the stuff sack into the in and it does just snap on really easily so this is a pretty hardy pump sack it's like thick made of thick cloth so I feel like you're going to get a few extra ounces in weight in this pump sack if you're planning on bringing it along. So just something to keep in mind. 
seven. All right, I think we're gonna round out at eight. All right. Woo! All right, so I popped it off here. I'm just gonna make sure it's totally inflated just to do the comparison. But I would say that's eight. Yeah, all right. Pop this off. So as is par for many of these sleeping pads, it has a tiny little nozzle in here that where you can do minute adjustments with. So you can get it to your comfort level. Snap that on. All right, so that was a cute car. Let's inflate the tensor. The tensor comes with this really nice Velcro piece, which I really like because if you are going ultralight, then you can pick to uh, just bring the Velcro or you could just bring the sack. So you sort of, it just gives you another option. Um, inside this stuff sack has a separate little pocket for the uh, repair kit. So if you do decide to just bring the Velcro piece, you want to remember to stuff that repair kit in there because if you are caught in the back country with a hole in either of these, you are gonna be in a lot of trouble and sleepy on the ground. So don't forget that repair kit when you're heading out. Same thing, stuff sack is rolled into the sleeping pad. Uh, this stuff sack is built, or the pump sack is built a little differently. Um, first, very obvious, valve. Okay, not gonna mess that one up. And then secondly, it has a few instructions on here where it does mention being six inches away from the blow to create that whirlwind and it fills the sack more than just like puffing and puffing on it. The valve system here is different from the Big Agnes. There is only one valve and you have two separate caps on it. One is a deflate and one is an inflate and it is labeled inflate deflate. And then the system sits flush once it's all snapped back together. And so does this one, it's also flush and off to the side. So similar in that regard. Uh, so I'm going to do the inflate here. And then the same thing, valve pops on. Hit. All right, so we got one. Three. All right. I would call that blown up in three. I'm just gonna make sure it's really all the way inflated. Just a little bit. Oh yeah. So right off the bat, we have a big difference here. Um, the Big Agnes Q-Core took eight pump folds to inflate, while the Nemo Tensor took three. So if time is of the essence, the Tensor is gonna be uh, your choice here. All right, we'll close it up. Okay. So let's chat about these two packs. All right, so let's first talk about price here. Um, I, in front, I have the Q-Core, Big Agnes Q-Core, and right behind, I have the Nemo Tensor. Uh, the Tensor is the more expensive pad. It retails for 189, um, so 100, about 190 US dollars, and the Big Agnes Q-Core is at 104.97, so closer to 100 bucks. So we do have a really big price difference between the two here. Um, this is gonna be a more top of the line pad if you're spending close to $200 on just your sleeping pad you really want to know that you're getting the right one um, this one at closer to 100 uh, is going to be a lesser impact on the purchase of your entire sleep system so just heads up there we've got a few different a few levels here um, with Big Agnes being the cheaper option in terms of weight we're pretty close here uh, they're both ultralight considered ultralight pads uh, weighing in at close to a pound the big agnes q core is 18 ounces which is 410 grams so uh two ounces above a pound which is good to take into consideration if you are counting grams or ounces in your pack 
and the tensor here is 15 ounces or 425 grams so it is just under a pound uh, if once again if you're ultralight through hiker and you need those ounces the tensor here is going to be a uh, lighter weight for you we sort of looked at the uh, pads packed down before we blew them up and the tensor is just slightly smaller than the big agnes and maybe a more packable shape it's more like that water bottle whereas the big agnes is a little bit um, squatter and fatter so might be uh you have to put it in the um, main compartment of your bag instead of slipping it into a water bottle holder or something like that uh, but otherwise comparable in size packed down so in terms of our value they are also pretty close our value is a uh, measurement of how warm soft goods are so sleeping bags sleeping pads um, it is on a scale of zero to six plus we have reviewed a few pads that are six plus. So that would be something you could use in the Arctic and snow and feet of snow. It will keep you very warm. Uh, zero would just be sleeping right in the ground. So if <laughs> you are outside and you decide to sleep on the ground, the uh, earth will leach warmth from you. It'll be pulling your warmth from you and that's why you'll be very cold. So the sleeping pad is a barrier between you and the ground. It helps to um, slow down that process of pulling warmth from your body as well as reflect warmth and the heat that you're creating back up towards your body to keep you warm. The tensor has an R value of 3.5 uh, which is um, I would consider a three season R value. So late spring summer into early fall uh, i sleep kind of cold so um it would be it wouldn't last me as long into early spring and late fall my partner is a warm sleeper so he could use these pads um probably pretty easily into uh late fall and early spring uh so tensor is at 3.5 and the q core is at 3.2 so slightly colder sleep on the Q-Core uh, as compared to the Tensor. If you are looking for warmth, the Tensor is gonna be your pick here. So both of these are really high quality sleeping pads. Uh, you are gonna get a little better quality with the Tensor, which should be expected with the price, di price difference. And also the Tensor offers a lifetime warranty against factory defects, whereas the Q-Core comes with a limited warranty. So you are, um, paying more but you are getting more assurance that you will have a functioning sleeping bag for the light or sleeping pad for the lifetime of the sleeping pad um, the tensor is made of 20 denier and we could not figure out actually the material that is made of uh, although we do know it's a ripstop nylon for the big agnes q core 20 denier is a nice material it allows uh, for the pad to be lightweight while also durable but with both of these pads you're going to want to watch out for punctures in the backcountry i would not place them directly on the ground i would uh, make sure to have a sleeping bag footprint or if you're cowboy camping some type of tarp between you and the ground because a puncture in the backcountry means you are sleeping on the ground uh, these will not retain any warm any any loft uh, with a hole in them you will have to repair it and you will have a rough time. So let's talk about the thickness of these sleeping pads, which it is quite a difference. Uh, and then we'll lay on top of them and see how comfy they are. Uh, the Q core here has two different thicknesses happening. The inside is three and a half inches thick or nine centimeters, while the outside is four and a half inches thick, which is 11 and a half centimeters. So you have like this really big, thick baffle around the outside which is gonna like hopefully keep you like snugly and nestled on the inside of the sleeping pad. Uh, and then the tensor here is three inches thick, which is about eight centimeters. So you're definitely getting more loft with a Q-Core if you're looking for like a really plushy, um, high off the ground experience and the Q-Core is gonna be your pick. All right, so let's chat about the dimensions of these pads. They are both 72 inches long which is 183 centimeters by 20 inches wide, which is 51 centimeters. And just sort of looking, it does sort of seem like the Q core is a little bit shorter than that. I'm trying to get them as equal as possible. And it does seem like the tensor is still above the Q core. And then if you measure them from edge to edge, they are pretty much the same length. So, uh, 
you saw in the, the different size packaging that it came in, you get a similar size sleeping pad, although it does, let's move this up here. It really does seem like the tensor is wider than the Q-Court, even though they claim similar widths. Same lengths, definitely. If you're enjoying this video, go ahead and hit the like button so more people like you can find it. All right, I'm gonna lay down on these both. Uh, I am 5'6", so uh, that'll give you an idea of how well this sleeping pad would fit you. Pretty comfy. The material feels nice. Good stability near the edges. It's not very noisy at all compared to some sleeping pads I've slept on. Great on the side, no hot spots. I'm not bottoming out on my hips or my shoulders. This is pretty comfy in general. Let's try the cute core. Oh, one thing I will mention is it was a little slippy. So like, if you were sleeping on a hill or somewhere in the back country that isn't completely flat, you might run into some issues with the tensor moving around on you. Okay, so I can feel like the pocketing of the bigger baffle. I'm not sure I like it, but it's there. Not too noisy. Material's okay. Definite stability because of that bigger baffle on, on the outside. So lots of stability. Not bottoming out. Good at shoulders and, and hips. So it's relatively the same comfort. I would, if I had to pick one, I would maybe choose the Tensor as a little bit more comfortable. Both pads are pretty quiet. Both have good stability. The um, Q-Core seems to have more stability near the edges, which is probably due to this really thick baffle going around the edge. Um, both are a little slippy. If you're on a hill, you might have some issues. Uh, neither are that noisy which is like really important for me. I, I rate that highly on sleeping pads. I don't want to be woken up by my own sleeping pad. Both felt good on the side. Uh, I'm not even, I'm not sure I liked the like cradling feel of the Q-Core. It was like a little stifling. I'm not sure. That is probably just personal preference. All right, so let's deflate both of these and see how easy they are to deflate. Let's start with the tensor. So this, uh, this valve system, it's, once again, it's two valves in one, and I'm just going to pull, and it dumps air rather easily. And another fold. So I like to determine how easy something is to roll up by how annoyed I would be if I had to roll it up day after day on a through hike. And I really don't mind rolling the tensor up. And then I do like to include the pump sack in the roll up so the whole thing is ready to go. So even though I'm not being like super precise and making sure it's as tight as possible, I do know it's still gonna fit in the provided step sack, which is really nice and low stress. You don't have to like roll it up perfectly every time in order for it to be fit. So there we go. And then you've got your Velcro. All right, so let's roll up the Q-Core and see how it goes. So the Q-Core does, this stuff sack, I would say does not work nearly as well. It took eight. Uh, stuff sack fulls to blow up uh, the sleeping pad and uh, it is like kind of bulky uh, although props to Big Agnes it's made out of recycled material from discards uh, of their um, soft goods so that is I love that part of it but um, not when you give up functionality uh, to use it I would be deterred from using this pump sack uh, just because it, it doesn't seem um, efficient. All right, so I'm going to pull the deflate side. It says out. This is 
a little bit harder to dump air from just because it is four inches, four to four and a half inches thick, and it just takes longer to get air out of that. And then I'm also going to include this pump sack in here. And then I always keep the entrance to the pump sack away from where you're uh, rolling. So as you roll, you're rolling air out of the pump sack as well. Still pretty easy to roll up. I would not mind doing this over and over and over again. It's not like unrolling itself or unraveling or final air out. And it goes nicely into its stuff sack, which is also one of my pet peeves. When you have to like wrestle it into the stuff sack, you're like, okay, I'm just gonna throw this away. Just kidding, I would never throw a sleep pad away. So I would say that both of these were pretty easy to roll back in their sacks. They both fit really well. Um, not really a big difference there. I think the biggest difference is um, rolling that bigger kind of over constructed stuff sack into this sleeping pad. Let's do a little wrap up here uh, and sort of just go over more stats on these sleeping pads. So these two are really nice pads. They're just on different levels in terms of price and quality. Uh, the Nemo is far more expensive at $189. So $190, close to $200-ish. It's gonna be a big purchase as part of your sleep system. Whereas the Q-Core is at $104.97. So not as big as um, a price point chunk in your wallet. Uh, it could be like a more easily accessible pad to start out with. Uh, so definitely some big price point differences between these two. So if price is your only determining factor, Q-Core is gonna be your pick. The Tensor wins in weight just slightly. Uh, the Tensor comes in at 15 ounces, which is 425 grams, and the Q-Core is 18 ounces, which is 510 grams. So we've got a three ounce difference between the two, one spanning just below a pound, and one falling in just above a pound. If you are counting ounces or grams, the Tensor is going to be a better choice for you. In terms of comfort level, both of them are pretty comfortable pads. They both supported side sleeping really well. The Q-Core has that band around the edge that makes it uh, sort of like cradle you in there. So if you are feeling maybe claustrophobic by that, that would not be a good choice for you. The Tensor just seems like a solid comfy pad all around. Um, both had good stability near the edges. Both were kind of a little slippy. The materials on each, I would prefer a material between you and the pad. I wouldn't want to like put my cheek right on either of these pads. Kind of get that like sweaty-ish feeling. Uh, but otherwise, like pretty equal in comfort. I would say maybe the Tensor a little bit more comfortable just because it doesn't have that sort of like cradle feeling where I felt like I couldn't like relax fully on my back. In terms of warmth, the Tensor is just a tiny bit warmer. The R value of the Tensor is 3.5, while the R value of the Q-Core is 3.2. I would consider these both three season, tent, three season sleeping pads. If you are looking to be as warm as possible, the Tensor is going to be your pick. Both pads are pretty easy to inflate, uh, but if timing is an issue for you, the Tensor is definitely the pick. It only took three pump sack fulls to fill up, where the Q-Core took eight pump sack fulls and we were both using each pad's proprietary pump sack. The Q-Core has a sort of more heavy duty than needed uh, pump sack and it just does not work as well. It's not as efficient as the pump sack that comes with the Tensor. And if it matters to you, there's instructions on the Tensor's pump sack where it's, uh, the Q-Core does not come with instructions. So if you're someone that needs a little more help once you get to your campsite in the backcountry, the Tensor is going to be a better pick just because it'll tell you exactly how to pump up your sleeping pad. Once you've done it twice or three times, then you're an expert. But just for those first few times, it's kind of nice to have those reminders right on the pump sack. So who are these each for? The Nemo Tensor is really great for anyone who's going ultralight, who's spending a ton of time in the backcountry, who needs a pad that is light, small, super small, uh, and warm and durable. So backpackers, bike packers, climbers, mountaineers, anyone who is in the backcountry for an extended period of time, this is gonna be a great sleeping pad for you. 
The Q-Core is also a really well-rounded sleeping pad and it's one that doesn't cost a lot. So if you are looking for something that you can use front country camping, but also take into the back country for a few nights, this is gonna be a really great pick. It's small as well, it's pretty warm, uh, and it's stable, so it has a lot of really great things uh, going for it. It's just not as high quality as the Tensor, so you are definitely paying for quality with this, uh, whereas the Q-Core, you are getting a great pad for a lower price. So in conclusion, the Tensor is lighter, warmer, and quite a bit more expensive. The Q-Core is cheaper while still holding its own in warmth and weight, and still good quality. So. That is the Nemo Tensor versus the Big Agnes Q-Core. Happy camping. Hey everyone, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you have ever wasted money on gear in the past or just don't know what gear to buy, I really want to recommend this book. It's called The Beginner's Guide to Hiking Gear and it has breakdowns and explanations of all the gear you'll need to get safely outside. It's organized into gender, size, weight, what type of hike you'll need it for, uh, and it's really helpful for any beginner out there or even someone who's more advanced but wants more suggestions on how to enjoy your time outside. You can buy it at Amazon and it's available in both paperback and Kindle. Go ahead and click the link below in the description and check it out. Tensor comes with this nice little, um, Woo! Oh my god, this is scary. <laughs> was a really large bumblebee. Did you see that thing? It was like this big. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, <laughs> definitely on camera. <laughs> Alright, so the tensor